Welcome to the 10th lecture in Applied Math. The topics that we will explore in this lecture include the transpose of a matrix and an introduction to determinants. Okay, so we'll start with the exercises from the previous lecture. And in the first exercise, we have two matrices, the matrix A, which is the 3 by 3 matrix with rows 3, 4, 1, 2, negative 7, negative 1, 8, 1, 5, and the matrix B is the 3x3 three three matrix with rows 1, 11, 2, 2, negative 7, negative 1, 8, 1, 5. So notice that if we begin with the matrix A and we perform an elementary row operation, that is negative 1 times row 2 and add this to row 1, then we obtain the matrix B. And so if we perform the same operation on the identity, then we get the elementary matrix with rows 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And we will call this elementary matrix E prime. This is the elementary matrix that encodes the elementary row operation performed on A. So if we look at the product, E prime times A, then this is the 3 by 3 matrix with rows 3 minus 2 plus 0 is 1, 4 plus 7 plus 0, which is 11, 1 plus 1 plus 0, which is 2, second row, 0 plus 2 plus 0, 0 minus 7 plus 0, 0 minus 1 plus 0, third row, 0 plus 0 plus 8, 0 plus 0 plus 1, and 0 plus 0 plus 5, and this is the matrix B. Now if we begin with the matrix B and perform the inverse of the operation that we performed on A, that is positive 1 times row 2 and add this to row 1, then we obtain the matrix A. And so if we perform the same operation on the identity, then we obtain the elementary matrix with rows 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 1. And we will call this elementary matrix E. This is the element elementary matrix that encodes the operation that we performed on A, or correction, on B. And so if we perform the product, E times B, then this is the 3 by 3 matrix with rows 1 plus 2 plus 0 which is 3, 11 minus 7 plus 0, which is 4, 2 minus 1 plus 0, which is 1, second row, 0 plus 2 plus 0, 0 minus 7 plus 0, 0 minus 1 plus 0, third row, 0 plus 0 plus 8, 0 plus 0 plus 1, and 0 plus 0 plus 5, and this is the matrix A. So next we'll show that E prime is the inverse of the matrix E. So E prime times E
is the 3 by 3 matrix with rows 1 plus 0 plus 0 which is 1 1 minus 1 plus 0 which is 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 second row 0 plus 0 plus 0 0 plus 1 plus 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 and third row 0 plus 0 plus 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 and 0 plus 0 plus 1 and this is the 3 by 3 identity matrix if we now look at the product E times E prime then this is the 3 by 3 matrix with rows 1 plus 0 plus 0 which is 1 negative 1 plus 1 plus 0 which is 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 which is 0 second row 0 plus 0 plus 0 0 plus 1 plus 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 and third row 0 plus 0 plus 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 and 0 plus 0 plus 1 once again this is the 3 by 3 identity and so E prime is the inverse of the matrix E since the product E prime times E in any order is the identity matrix Now in the second exercise, we have the 3 by 3 matrix A with rows 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 3, 1, 0, 8. We will use the inversion algorithm to find A inverse if it exists. So we start with the matrix A. and append to this matrix the 3 by 3 identity matrix now in the first entry of the first row we have a leading one and so we need to eliminate the non-zero entries in that column and so first we'll add negative 2 times row 1 to row 2 and so row 1 and row 3 will remain unchanged so negative 2 plus 2 is 0 negative 4 plus 5 is 1 negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3 negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2 0 plus 1 is 1 and 0 plus 0 is 0 so now we need to eliminate the non 0 in the first entry in row 3 so we will add negative 1 times row 1 to row 3 And so the first and second row will remain unchanged. So negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. Negative 3 plus 8 is 5. Negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1, and 0 plus 0 is 0, and 0 plus 1 is 1. So now in the second row, we have a leading 1 as the second entry, and so we want to eliminate the non zero entries in that column. 
So we will add negative 2 times row 2 to row 1. And so the second and third row will remain unchanged. So 0 plus 1 is 1, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2, and 0 plus 0 is 0. So now we eliminate the negative 2 in row 3. And so we will multiply 2 times row 2 and add this to row 3. So the first and second row do not change. So 0 plus 0 is 0, 2 plus negative 2 is 0, negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1, negative 4 plus negative 1 is negative 5, 2 plus 0 is 2, and 0 plus 1 is 1. So now in order to have a leading 1 in the third row, we need to multiply that row by negative 1. So negative 1 times row 3. So once again the first and second row will not change. And if we multiply the third row by negative 1 we have 0, 0, 1, 5, negative 2, negative 1. And so now that we have a leading 1 in the third row, we want to eliminate the non-zeros in the rest of the column. So we will multiply row 3 by negative 9 and add this to row 1. And so the second and third row will not change. So negative 9 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. Negative 9 times 0 is 0, plus 0 is 0. Negative 9 times 1 is negative 9, plus 9 is 0. Negative 9 times 5 is negative 45, plus 5 is negative 40. Negative 9 times negative 2 is 18, plus a negative 2 is 16. And negative 2 times, correction, negative 9 times negative 1 is 9, plus 0 is 9. So now we want to eliminate the negative 3 in the second row, and so we will multiply row 3 by 3 and add this to row 2. And so the first and third row will not change. So 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 3 plus negative 3 is 0, 15 minus 2 is 13, negative 6 plus 1 
is negative 5. And negative 3 plus 0 is negative 3. So notice that we have transformed the matrix A into the 3x3 three three identity matrix. And so A inverse is the 3x3 three three matrix with rows negative 40, 16, 9, 13, negative 5, negative 3, and 5, negative 2, negative 1. Okay, so new definition. Let A be an M by N matrix with real entries. The transpose of A which is denoted a superscript T is the N by M matrix obtained by interchanging the rows and columns of the matrix A, that is, the entry in row I, column J, of the transpose of A is the entry in row J, column I, of the matrix A, and so row I of the transpose of A is column I of the matrix A, and column J of the transpose of A is row J of the column uh, correction of the matrix A. So notice that if the matrix A is a square matrix, Then, the entry in row I, column I, of the transpose of A is the same as the entry in row I, column I, of the matrix A, that is, A transpose and A have the same main diagonal. So let's look at an example. Let A be the 3x3 three three matrix with rows 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 3, 1, 0, 8. Then the transpose of A has as its first column the first row of A and as its second column, the second row of A, and as its third column, the third row of A. But notice that both the matrix A and the transpose of A have the same main diagonal, namely 1, 5, 8. <coughs> 